Hello, everybody. My name is Andrew from Brickmeister Z. And have you been collecting different LEGO sets for years? There have been many sets released from classic or licensed themes. But for this video, I will be counting down my top 10 favorite LEGO sets of all time. And this list will only include sets that LEGO officially made, like the Star Wars Death Star but not custom set slash mocks that you find on BrickLink or Rebrickable. So with that, let's get our brick on and get this list started. First up is the Jazz Quartet from the LEGO Ideas theme, which you can submit a new project that LEGO hasn't made before, and then it will become an official LEGO set after when it reaches 10,000 supporters. The build for the Jazz Quartet has different mini land figures that you find in Legoland parts, and each figure has their own instrument to perform on this stage build, which can be connected into different parts. But Lego already made some mini land sets back in the day before they released the Jazz set in 2022. So I wonder if Lego would make a future mini land sub theme that ties in with this, but who knows? And speaking of figures, next we have an upscaled LEGO minifigure. I remember seeing those large sculptures that were displayed at LEGO stores or conventions, but then there were scaled down versions as official LEGO sets, like how it got billable Harry Potter characters and a billable pirate figure. And then there's this classic minifigure with a blue hat, a red torso, and blue legs. This one that I'm talking about was released this year in 2023. And like a normal minifigure, this billable figure is actually poseable, like how you bend the leg to make it sit down. You can also move its arms up and down and rotate his head. I like how this version has a control room inside the hat, and you can place a normal minifigure in there when he's taking control of the buildable minifigure. Plus, I love how you can customize the same model, but turn it into different characters. Really clever mocks. And another LEGO idea set that I'm showing you right now is the motorized lighthouse. First off, there is a boat that can be connected to the docks. But not only that, you can turn the model around to find a small cave. And inside, we have a treasure chest to the left, and a switch to the right. And how this switch works is that if you push it down, the lighthouse will turn on. And as you can see, there is a light rotating inside the top window. And you can see how those mechanisms work when you take off the tower's back walls. And then we also have this house build connected to the tower. When you take the roof off, we have an interior, including a small kitchen and bedroom, as well as a hallway that you can climb those ladders up the tower. But what's cool about the lighthouse is that you can actually turn off the lights, and you can also see the top of the light rotate at the same time. But overall, great glow-in-the-dark set. <laughs> For the foosball table slash table football set, this is a tabletop game based on soccer, but the overall design with play features looks fun. How it works is that if you rotate one of the knobs with minifigures, you'll kick the ball into the net and score a goal. And if one team gets 5 points, they win the game. Besides that, you can also customize your minifigures by replacing different hair and head pieces, and you can attach them to one of their team uniforms. But I do love this concept that LEGO made, and I think that will look perfect next to my skateball project, which you can support on LEGO Ideas. Then we have the Disney camera that celebrates 100 years of the Disney company from 1923 to 2023. As a Disney fan, I love the build of this set. The camera does have a film strip that shows different Disney movies over the years. Plus, there's a secret area that you can open up. 
and you can see Walt Disney drawing Mickey Mouse at his desk. And this set also includes a clapperboard stand where you can display the minifigures. But when I first got this set, there were a few interesting things that I found. For example, if you don't want to have the number 100 that's attached to the reels, you can remove it in order to have a normal movie camera. And the same thing goes with the clapperboard if you remove the multi-camera build and the minifigures. Plus, you can use some black tiles to cover up those gray studs. But it depends on your opinions, I guess. Did you know that you can make music while you're building a Lego set? That's right, you can actually play a piano made out of Lego pieces. How the Grant's piano works is that you can connect your iPhone that has the Powered Up app. And it will also connect to Bluetooth at the same time when you turn on a battery box. And this part has six AAA batteries to turn on. After that, you can either listen to music while the piano keys are moving, or you can press the keys to play some classic songs. I mean, just listen to the sound effects when the keys are playing. They sound beautiful! And you can see how the key mechanisms work inside the piano. Besides that, this set also comes with a piano bench that you can adjust the height. So yeah, perfect addition to your LEGO collection, and I love how the piano turned out great with its sounds. Next is the Pac-Man Arcade Machine. Based on the classic arcade game, this set includes a display stand of Pac-Man being chased by the ghosts. But the only way that Pac-Man can get rid of the ghosts is to eat them up. And that happens after when they turn blue and get one of the power pellets at the same time. And this works in LEGO form when you turn the characters around by pressing a Technic Axle part at the back. And I love how you can place the character display on top of the arcade machine. And if you compare the real Pac-Man arcade machines, they don't have anything on top. But the build for the machine in LEGO form is playable when you turn the crank at the side. And you can see Pac-Man and the ghosts running around the maze like in the game. Over on the back, you can take off the panel to reveal an interior. And inside, we have a minifigure playing Pac-Man in an arcade, which I do love. But if you've ever played the real Pac-Man game in an arcade, then you've loved how the LEGO version lights up. That light kit that I used was from Lee Let's Go, and I made a video about it after when I got the LEGO Pac-Man set. But if you want to learn more about it, just click that card in the top right corner to check it out. But anyway, that's about it for Pac-Man. On to the next set. Yep, I'm in love with this masterpiece. The Starry Night, created by Vincent Van Gogh, is indeed a classic painting. And this LEGO set came out two years after when the LEGO art theme started back in 2020. The design of this set has a lot of different LEGO pieces to recreate the moon and stars in the sky as well as a bill for the cypress tree on the left, and a micro-scale village on the right. And yes, all of those builds are in 3D when you look at one of the sides of the painting. And of course, it comes with a minifigure of Vincent Van Gogh while he's painting Starry Night. Just like how Walt from the Disney camera set drew Mickey Mouse. Even though they're both real people, get it? <laughs> But with any LEGO art set, there is a Technic Hainer on the back of the picture that you can actually hang it on the wall. In fact, I made a tutorial video of how my dad and I hunt up Starry Night on the wall as teamwork. And that happened after when I first got the set in 2022. But other than that, awesome LEGO painting. Even though you don't want to paint your LEGO pieces with real paint. 
Here's another LEGO Disney set that appeared in this same list, and that is the Disney Castle. The two versions that LEGO officially made was the first one from 2016, which I already have. And there is another version that came out this year in 2023. And both of those versions were based on Disney World Cinderella Castle. The exterior walls used to be in white, and now they're in bright pink. But if you rotate the castle around and see what's inside, there are many rooms that reference a lot of Disney movies over the years, like say, Aladdin, Beauty and the Beast, Fantasia, and many more. And near the top of the castle, we have some stud shooters that you can launch the fireworks in the sky at night. Speaking of that, I love how you can light up the castle by using a different light kit. I mean, yeah, the one for Pac-Man was different compared to the Disney castle. And finally, my number one favorite LEGO set of all time is the Nintendo Entertainment System set from the LEGO Mario theme. As a huge gaming fan, this set comes with the NES system that first came out back in 1985. And it has many retro video games like Super Mario Bros., Donkey Kong, The Legend of Zelda, Metroid, Punch-Out, and so much more. But for the LEGO version, it also comes with a controller that you can plug it into the system, as well as a cartridge to load one of your favorite games. So not only that you get the NES in LEGO form, but this set also includes a TV that plays a Mario game on the screen. And there is a crank on the side of the TV that you can rotate. Like the other one from the Pac-Man set, you can see Mario running through the level. But if you want to have any sound effects, you can place an electronic Mario figure on top of the TV. And you can turn the crank to hear the sounds, like collecting power-ups and defeating enemies. But yeah, I still want LEGO and Nintendo to make Mario minifigure sets because of those new Animal Crossing sets that were recently announced. And if you want to modify the TV, you can remove the LEGO screen design and replace it with a real screen. Like say you put a Nintendo Switch system inside the TV while it's secured with different LEGO pieces. And voila! You can actually play a real video game on a LEGO TV. And you can check out this tutorial video of how I modified the LEGO NES TV. But I gotta say that the NES has to be my best LEGO set of all time. And that, folks, is going to wrap up this list video. Hope you enjoyed my top 10 favorite LEGO sets. But what are your favorite LEGO sets of all time? Be sure to leave me a comment about it. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to Brickmeister Z and turn on notifications, simply because you don't want to miss my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Bye.